One of the reasons that 1997 pennant flies here at Progressive Field is joining us in the booth right now. Jared Wright pitched on that staff, took the team into the World Series. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Always Thanks. fun to come home. Thanks for having me. I love it here. It's nice. Yes. I mean, I know it's not home. Yeah, but it's, it's your my baseball. second home. Yeah, your baseball home, it's right? Where, it's where I grew up, basically. Do you have the kids with you? No, this was just uh, good for you. Just by yourself. <laughs> yeah. This is I could catch up on uh, some movies, watch a couple baseball games, and uh, you need a weekend off. Enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's good for you. Now, what's keeping you busy beside the kids when you're at home these days? Yeah, so uh, I'm coaching a lot. Uh oh, no, no. no. So I got the kids. Uh, we're I'm coaching football right now, and then uh, do some private baseball stuff and. We head to the beach and we surf a lot and just enjoying being a dad. I love it. Do you see Chuck Finley at all? I know you guys are tight out there and you live in the, yeah, the, the yeah. surrounding area. Yeah, Finn, uh, we play golf maybe once or twice a month. Nice. We try to get yeah. out there. Chuck's an awesome guy. Boy, Josh Tomlin made quick work of Edwin Encarnacion, his second strikeout tonight. One down. Now, what position? Do you have a position specialty that you're coaching in football? Or are you the offensive coordinator, DC? What do you got? No, I'm I'm just uh, I'm just out there to look mean, I guess. <laughs> That's <laughs> why you grew the beard? That's it. That's <laughs> it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of gray in this beard, so we might have to shave it off. <laughs> well, you've got a nice suntan. You get you've been out there working hard, man, huh? Yeah, the uh, in the water, we gotta catch as many waves as possible out there. Now do you go? Are you one of those guys first first light of day you're in the water. So for me I like to take the kids to school about uh, 8 8 30 okay. and then uh, I'll try to jump in the water then and then uh, you know wait for them to get home and then it's on we got baseball practice dance class football. Oh whole, yeah the, nonstop the yeah. whole deal. But what a pleasure I mean being here last night for that game watching uh, that battle Trevor pitched. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that was fun to watch. So, so this is a real treat for me. Well, I'll tell you, that was one of the best games of the year. I mean, just the way it was played, you know, well pitched all game. They were able to come back. That closer comes in, Ozuna, who's been very, very good. He threw a couple of splitters that yeah. he left in, middle in, and they, they they took him. It was a great game. Shades of the mid 90s. That's hit a long way. Back is Naquin, and he won't get it. Russell Martin homers for the second time in as many games. And it's 3 0 Toronto. Thirtieth home run allowed by Josh Tomlin. And the 18th solo one. That was a breaking ball out over the plate. Martin stayed on it, took it to right center field. Naquin ran out of room. You can't know. You got to buy a ticket, Tyler. What's that feel like when you give one up like that? Oh, not know. very good at all. No, I know. <laughs> that can't feel very good. For, for me, I think Charlie Nagy taught me this. You know it's already gone. So I would just watch to see if he's going to watch it, if yeah. he's running or not. Because I always wanted to know that. Yeah. That's. <laughs> Well, and then do you look at the umpire and say, "Give me a baseball, hurry up!" And some some umpires will hold it and wait for you, won't they? they yeah, won't yeah. Give it to you early. I didn't like that either. Give me a ball. Let's let's yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, let me go. Yeah. Sh short memory for sure. But hitters will let you know when they when you make a mistake, don't they? Absolutely. Jolowitzki, he smokes one of the gap. That'll get down, and he's going to go to second base. Late slide well, and. A might have been a close play had Lindor been able to come up with the throw. I'll tell you why it was a late slide is because he wasn't hustling all the way because he missed last night with a calf muscle yeah. and he figured it's a double all the way. He was just going to take it and cruise into second base but Naquin got over there and made it a lot closer than what it should have been. You watch him play the ball and he was just you know he wasn't pushing it. Let me put it that way. He figured all right that's a double. That would have been close. So the uh, Blue Jays are in business now with Michael Saunders coming up. Rounded out his only time to the plate. Ottawa up three nothing here in the third. And that's going down the left 
field line foul. We're visiting with Jarrett Wright tonight. And when you watch that game last night, you watch it unfold the way it did at the end. Is it hard to not just go right back in time to 1997? Because how many games ended that same way in the postseason? That year? Yeah, I, I, when games in like that, you kind of feel like something special is going on, especially for these guys back to back, you know, walk off nights. It's kind of you look at each other in the clubhouse and you kind of think, you know, this could be it. This could be our year. And that was uh, that was what was going on in 97 for sure. So I, I think uh, it was very enjoyable for me to watch a game and have it finished that way. Well, that's the one thing this team has, Jared. We will tell you, is a great chemistry. You know, with the the manager and the, the players, they're starting to come together. I know you don't get a chance to watch it or not, but this young man, he's a rookie this year. He came in the night before, had a sacrifice fly, won the game on a walk off, and then stepped in last night. Didn't start either one either one of those two games, and stepped up and had a big role. How about that? The rock star coming up. That's beautiful. And look, they're having a bunch of fun. They're winning. I yeah, mean, that's important. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You can tell they're pulling for each other, and that looks great. They got a nice blend of young players and some veterans that have been through the, you know, the trenches before. You know, you think back to that '97, that just that playoff run alone in the division series. You guys had a walk off win on a ball. That I don't think it ever left the infield. I can't remember the pitch. I don't think it was Rivera, but it hit. It was Romero Mendoza. I remember, hit his leg and it came past Jeter, who went, who was going up the middle, and it just kind of went the other way. We win a game there. Baltimore, you win a game on a pass ball. Yes. And then, of course, Tony Fernandez on the road, not a walk up, but you, you, yeah. know, you know, I mean, just so many crazy ways to win a game. That's you guys the did great, it every way imaginable. The great way about baseball, you know, you always talk about you have to hit or home run, or you think you're going to win a game. But a lot of times, it's the little things when you get down into playoff baseball. That's how you win. Fun to watch. The two-two. All right, that Kipnis. He's going to go to third. He's got Tulowitzki and a run down. They can just run him back to the bag. Yeah, he's not running well. He should have just stayed put if that's the way he's going to play it and gets caught in the rundown. They get him out of scoring position. That's a, a nice out there. Two down, going to bring up Melvin Upton as John Gibbons doesn't look amused. Well, he may not be amused, but he put him in the lineup and he thought he was well enough to play. It looked like Tulowitzki looked back at Kipnis and just assumed he's going to go to first base and started going toward third and then looked up and saw the ball and realized, uh oh. Melvin Upton swings and he drives one deep and that's not coming back. Second home run of the inning. Blue Jays have scored three more and lead it five to nothing. Boy just when it looked like you caught a break and a chance to maybe get out of the inning without much damage done. Upton Boom. hits his second and he knew it as soon as it left the bat. Both the home runs coming uh, to right center field off the right handers. Back and they have a three run inning so they are putting it on. And I'll tell you what it's going to be a tough night for the Indians now with offense if they have to do it against Sanchez. So you've got to put zeros on the board from here on in. They're not getting cheated right now they're swinging. It's 0 one on Darwin Barney. Talking recently, home runs are up this year in baseball, up a lot from just a year ago. When you were pitching in the area, you were throwing in, boy, you had to be pretty pinpoint with your control the way you guys were hitting home runs back in the late 90s. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, for a while there, every decision they made was, I felt, to make it easier for the hitters, you know, lowering the mound, changing the ball, oh, yeah. stuff like that, smaller strike zones. So, uh, you know, and guys, guys were going deep. But with our team back then, even if you gave up, 
three five you had to tell yourself that's all they get because yeah with the guys coming up they could put up a five spot in a hurry so you, you can't get down on yourself and, and kind of fold up shop you got to keep working. Well that's the thing the commissioner wants to, you know to quicken the pace of the ball game, but they want more offense and I'm thinking how does that work. The more offense you have the longer the games are because the more you're going to go to the bullpen and things like that and when you do that that increases the, the time of game. Yeah. The one two. Swung on and missed. Barney goes down hacking. But the Blue Jays put up three and lead it five to nothing. Jarrett, thanks for stopping by. Thank you guys Great very much. As always, great to see you. Jarrett Wright with us tonight. All right, we'll man. see if the Indians can get the bats going when we come back.